Welcome to Cloud Tech Nexus Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll focus on how to transfer data from one Mac computer to another using what's called Thunderbolt Bridge. This involves the use of a Thunderbolt cable to bridge a connection between two Mac computers. No software is needed to install, but some settings will need to be configured. Once completed successfully, you will have transferred user profile data and software applications. Other methods of transfer are target disk mode, migration assistant, time machine, and third-party software. For fastest transfer speed possible, be sure to get certified Thunderbolt 3 cable. See link in description for more details. Desktops will also work in this scenario, but two laptops will be used in this demo. This method should work with Intel and Apple-based chip Macs as well. If you have a MacBook that is 2017 or later, a single cable will be needed. If you have a MacBook that dates back from 2016 to 2011, to connect a MacBook from 2017 and later. You will need a Thunderbolt 2 to 3 adapter and a Thunderbolt 2 cable. If both MacBooks are between 2011 and 2016, then a single Thunderbolt 2 cable is all that is needed. Steps in the following order. Here we have two MacBook Pros, both are 2019 models, one 13 inch, the other 15 inch. The white cables are providing power. The black cable is the Thunderbolt 3 cable. You may want to change the sleep setting so you can monitor the transfer status for any errors. The goal here is to transfer the data from the 15 inch MacBook Pro to the 13 inch MacBook Pro. On the 13 inch, Apple icon, System Preferences, Networks. Verify that Thunderbolt Bridge is enabled and you have an IP address. If logged in as the account intended to be migrated, log out, then log in with the account that has admin privileges. Apple icon, system preferences, network. Make sure the Thunderbolt bridge connection is still working. On the 15 inch, Apple icon, system preferences, network. Select Thunderbolt bridge, make note of the IP address, in this case, 169 dot two five four dot one six dot two five select sharing checkbox file sharing make sure user account being transferred is set to read and write Switch over to the 13 inch. Go, connect to server. Select IP address, in this case 169.254.16.25. Connect. Connect. Select registered user, enter user account and password of the profile that is to be transferred. Select Macintosh HD or whatever your local disk is called. OK. Now that you have remote access to the 15 inch MacBook hard disk, double click users. 
Click, hold, and drag the profile that is to be transferred to the desktop, then release. Copy time varies. Once the copy is complete, double click the profile folder on the desktop. In the root of the profile folder, press Command plus Shift plus Dot. This will show the hidden library folder that contains the user account settings, preference files, etc. Keep this folder unless you have an issue or, or want to use the existing settings on the current Mac the profile is being transferred to. Users and Groups. With the Users folder selected, Go, Computer, Select Local Hard Drive, Double Click Users, Click and hold Profile Folder from the desktop and drag it to Users folder, then Release. Enter credentials of the local admin account. Create new account. Change to administrator. Name account, the same exact name as the profile folder that was transferred over. Enter same password. Create user. Use existing folder. When done, lock settings and exit everything. Log out. Log in with the transferred account username and password. Data, apps, and some settings are transferred. I say some because some settings like printers and keychain items are missing. I will show this later. But other items like browser history and bookmarks transferred over to name a few. You can even restore your last browsing session. Now to address a printer and keychain known issue. The printer will not carry over, so you will need to re-add the printer. Some keychain items will carry over, but not all. You will need to either manually export or leave it and rebuild it again over time. Not all items are able to be exported, so manually or use their party tool to copy keychain items. See description below for more details. This shouldn't be a big deal for a casual user that doesn't log into that many things. 
but a business user or someone that has a lot of passwords to remember, this will be worth warning them. Transfer is complete. We have transferred from the 15 inch MacBook Pro to the 13 inch MacBook Pro. This includes how to migrate data from one Mac to another using Thunderbolt 3 cable. All steps complete.